everybody i hope you're well welcome back to my channel if you new um, my name is anastasia and today i'm doing a zara haul and i don't want to have it super long as they usually are quite huge for me i just came back from a very amazing trip to jerusalem so uh this haul i did not shop online i did in store instead and the idea is to give you something really new really fresh to stay away slightly from the classic cuts and the jeans that uh, I did show you in some of my previous hauls so you'll see the mood of this haul will be actually like wider trousers uh, something cool a tank top something that is more like edgy I would say and I realized that I'm like now 33 some things that you did wear before or some classy items that look really amazing on the 20 years old don't look so cool on somebody like me <laughs> anymore but this I think is gonna be bomb and especially the last outfit so you have to see it make sure you see it and uh, there is a bunch of things here um, it's not in a box so it's uh, prepped by outfit maybe I'll start with the shoes then so I'm just gonna give you idea of what's gonna be like I did browse and I did try um, a lot of things in the store as well so they had a couple of uh, shades of these uh, slides they're really kind of like edgy and oversized but um, something about them makes them not like super big like I don't usually wear things like this and I think uh, there was a straw one with the plastic uh, maybe I'll actually come back and try that with some of the outfits that I did like but I just know that this soft blue denim color works really well for me and the idea is okay you have a lot of outfits that go with my other sandal that is blue uh, that is a shipper sandal like a Birkenstock and I think this would also come with it then I have another denim shoe which is is the slang back the sizing I'll give you the sizing uh, so I'm 37 and a half I did oversize slightly in these but maybe I didn't have to with these I actually did try both 37 and 38 and uh, in the 38 you can feel that the shoes a bit like longer in this spot and uh, I felt like I don't want that to be super long because I don't really like when the toes are really long. I know that if you're size 40, uh, probably you don't like that at all. It's only when you have like really small feet, like maybe 35, 36, you would love to have a pointed toe makes it a bit longer. So also the way it's made, it's so beautiful. I did not see it in a design of shoes. Maybe now it's coming and uh, the stitching is like brown. So I'm going to try them for like smart casual more casual like edgy outfits and a lot of other things are for the going out especially these ones they're so much fun i really like uh the edgy toe like the squared one i think it was the bottega who did it initially and then um yeah probably they did copy it they had a lot of cool shoes i have to say at first i actually grabbed the purple one because you know that i love purple give me anything purple i will love to wear it and you know that i have these and these are my favorite bottegas but they don't suit with a lot of outfits because this is really padded so i'm gonna try to style some like shorter skirts with these and for the trousers i think i'm gonna need something like this so you'll see this style with the outfits that i picked and i said like to myself okay maybe try a softer tone as well because this is kind of this is really bright and edgy this is kind of also edgy but it's more barely there uh, style if you don't want an accent in your feet this would work and for these I didn't oversize because they come quite comfy in a 37 another pair of shoe that I did really like is this one I think it's mostly about the color combination of color and the style and um, it's so gorgeous uh, it really matches well my skin tone and it's almost like a nude a nude but a bit more edgy because of the heel and I would wear it with the outfits where I also don't want to make a big accent on the toe but I want to stay really classy really elegant and also is patent because I think most of my other sandals right now are matte black or like a color that is not 
like a shiny, not reflective. And the other one is the last one is this. It's super plain. Uh, it's a suede. They do a lot of you know glittery shoes. This is, has glitters, but you don't see them as much. And I like that simplicity of the design. I also did an oversize of 37. And I uh, thought it would go really nicely with all the blacks and neutrals that I have but when I want to look a bit more fun, but without wearing a heel. And I'll probably style them a lot more with my next Zara video that you'll see probably in two weeks after this video uh, with more like resort style of outfits. So let's give it a start, my first. All right, uh, uh, some other key items here that you'll have to see before I do, do try them on are uh, this tank top. It seems like really plain but it is uh, optimal like clean white color not like super white. Suits me well and I thought for because going out occasions I don't have a top like this. I have a bit one is a bit yellowish shade but I'm gonna have some dark colors that it might not necessarily go together and I felt like if I always could use one. I did try it as a bit see-through so I might need to uh, use you know nipple pasties or a blazer that would go over it um, and this is well the key item of this haul. I did see it. I didn't see uh, other at the previous uh, shops this is something that was quite similar. Maybe it's just they didn't bring it here or online they don't come to to the country that I live in. So this is a really edgy and oversized blazer. I would imagine other brands that are like naked fashion. Uh, what other brands are out there? They probably do these blazers more regularly or normally. Maybe Zara did have it, but um, I, they ne never really brought it here. And the color is a like grayish which is really optimal color as well for me. I was surprised it goes with the whites and blacks, but it's not camel. So the blazer that I have is camel. I did try it with some of the neutrals that I usually wear. It doesn't really work with all of the neutrals. And this is also more summery. So just to give you a quick idea, I'm gonna try to go back. The sizing that it comes is just two sizes, so it's extra small to small and medium to large. How it does look like? Yeah, it does look really baggy, look really edgy, but you'll have to see the way I'm gonna style it. And I know that I did not like this style before, but I'm gonna give it a try, I'm gonna explore. The material is a bit uh, like linen, but I don't think it's linen. It's something that is a more together with a synthetic because it doesn't crisp that much, just a little bit. I'm just gonna read it for you. So um, yeah, it has 14% linen and then it's viscose and cotton. So I would imagine this to be more sturdy and less wrinkly than your normal linen. It also is kind of lightweight, but not super lightweight. It has some density that uh, if you don't live somewhere really warm, it would work for you. Inside it's lined with the cotton, which I really like because some of the my woolly blazers they are lined with a polyester or like silky fabric that you don't really like for the summer. This is how it looks uh, with the trousers that I currently have on. The top is a bit more to the beige and the trousers as well so the greyish is suitable to these because I did try the same outfit with a caramel tone, doesn't work. With the black, it also is not the same because it's a bit too edgy. But to make it a bit more edgy, I'm adding these purple shoes and I'm adding this uh, Bottega point bag that I'm gonna use as a clutch here. It actually looks cooler with a white layer on the, in here. So let me show you how it would look with a white layer. This is the white tank top that I mentioned and I think for especially going out and for looking more like edgy cool I think it looks better than the cotton cotton you want that I'm a lot more casual yes they're easier to wear but you don't sometimes you need to change it up a bit and um, for this instance as well so this is the parachute trouser that I did have from last 
summer, uh, not summer, it was like September, so end of summer, uh, beginning of fall. They don't have this exactly the same one, but they do have this one now, which is new. The only difference is that you cannot tie it to make it more high-waisted. They come initially as a bit low-waisted, but the color, I really like it. And I'm gonna show you the same blazer with these and with the different accessories. Uh, these are supposed to sit a bit low, but I usually like it to sit higher at the waist. So I'm gonna pinch it on the back with this clip. The blazer, you can tell that it is, um, it is edgy, but it is quite rounded here at the back that is has that feminine line. And just for this outfit as well, I'm gonna try the neutral shoes. Neutral, but edgy. And here I could feel like I can make a bag. I could use a brighter toned bag or black or white or in my instance this bright blue bag as an accent here for for the going out look for daytime oh look i might not wear a heel and i might change the the trouser to something a bit less edgy depending on where you're going and what you're gonna do so to have a bit more options with the bottoms i opted for these these are also neutral they're a bit less edgy but they're also really really modern uh, it's even a bit lighter shade it has an elastic and it also should suit to any of the oversized blazers but a bit more classy. I have now changed the trouser. This is the trouser that is a bit cropped. But this cuff is making it a bit more edgy and modern. Really comfy uh, size, extra small. I don't have to size up. They also come in a bit darker shades. I did consider the green or more like tan color, but <laughs> they rarely do work for me. So I'm just gonna stay with the, with the lighter shade. And I feel like this needs a bit more air. So so it would look better uh, with an open square neck tank top. Uh, let me show you the one that I have here. Without blazer, it does work. Again, it's similar to Bottega uh, styling and uh, what Rosie Huntington Woodley would wear. But I also feel like it's been some time, maybe uh, it's gonna be becoming really mainstream now. I'm not sure about that, but as of now, I think it's something that is cool to wear and it looks nice uh, because sometimes it's really difficult to dress nicely and to find your style when you can't wear like bright colors and you can't wear prints that are quite abundant as well in the current collection. So playing with the shape, I think it's the right way to do it, but staying true to your colors. So this is all about, uh, this haul is all about staying within my favorite colors that suit me but playing with the proportion and this definitely does work better gives you a nice decolletage which for some would be the most attractive thing to show just make sure you keep it open and the trick for when wearing an oversized blazer like this i think is to keep it kind of open if you want to you know if you're in a dating you know scene and you want to uh, look your best just make sure this is kind of stays open and maybe put yeah keep it with your hand because if it's gonna be too close this is not becoming cute this is just looking too roomy too oversized now I'm gonna change accessories and I'll show you how it could look a little bit more smart although like not smart casual and not like smart going out or smart edgy so I'm gonna wear the sling bag in denim and an edgier clutch yes yeah, so you can see this is a safer option you could also go for the denim it could be a really long denim that is almost floor length or it could be slightly cropped now i'm gonna try it with these heavy platform slides i don't know how to call them for more everyday everyday type of outfit i think i quite like it i don't like when it's black and it's riding my feet in a, in a not flattering way it's kind of could work but I still I'm not sure about it so you guys need to tell me what do you think if it's a keeper or not the bag is uh, winter's Azar as well the tote I'm gonna try to link very similar 
My next item here is also a blazer but it's cropped and when I was standing in the store there was a white, there was blue and it was this color maybe i would try like a deeper gray if it was existing in that color it was none and in the white it did come with the single button which was cute but when i tried this uh instead i found that this is gonna be so much cuter it's two buttons across at the waistline which i think is always a good idea so i'm gonna try it with this outfit that i'm wearing right now and a uh, madame <laughs> shoe you know, there was a time that I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's a bit boring. This is kind of classy and edgy. I could see it worn to the office. All materials are really soft. So maybe a leather bag would be nice here. Or for the evening, I would wear it with a clutch as well that has a little bit of a sheen. It could be a knot clutch. It could be a soft pouch in leather but not in a sway nothing like a straw that would be too much matte materials so yeah i could see myself wearing i think this is so much me in my 20s i would wear items like this but definitely i want a little bit more edge so let's uh, let's check if it looks nice with the sparkly shoes. I can't decide I want to keep both of them or just one shade. They're really comfy as well, which is really surprising for me, but uh, they, I think the more open the shoe is, the easier it is to fit into any shape of the feet. This or neutral, maybe. I'll just try one and the other one. And I need to tell me in the comments what do you think. The neutral is kind of barely there, but I actually didn't close the blazer. It has a second button just to make sure it all stays in. It also is linen. This is more lightweight. I think if I would go on vacation, I probably would take this as an, any extra layer. So you need to tell me guys, which shoes do you think are better in this outfit? And given that I'm not gonna do nails this season because I already said it a couple of times, I think I'm gonna give it a try. So nails are gonna be neutral, so maybe actually the neutral would be best. So this one also does work. I wanna show you the same uh, with a couple of different bottoms so you can see how it could uh, suit into other items that you might already have. So there is a black skirt. This is by other stories. I also think uh, a bit longer skirt would work here. I decided to do neutral here because we have a skirt and skirt is kind of an accent here. There is a belt loop as well. It's like a, a string belt, which I don't always wear. And you can see that even with a longer skirt, it might look really cute, like a maxi skirt. I just don't like to show my, uh, to keep my belly open, but the idea is even like this, this could work. Uh, so this is a combination that I could wear going out, I guess. And if you're working and then you want to swap to go for the drinks, uh, this is a bag for the evening and for the daytime I would um, wear my other bag. And uh, in the daytime you could wear the same with the tote and with the other type of shoe for this instance it will be this one but as i say because everything is kind of like too feminine here i do find this combo a little bit a little bit more boring maybe but it could work it's kind of a safer option the other option is of course to swap the blazer for your oversized blazer which i'm gonna show you in a second so from kind of everyday but something that's a bit feminine and more normal to wear like you could do this the other skirt that i wanted to show you with the same jacket is this it is a linen skirt from naked fashion by the way this top was also from the naked fashion i think with zara they kind of be quite the brands that could go together here yeah, it is with the skirt. It looks really perfect with the cropped blazer, but I want to give you a bit more ideas and to, you know, get you started with trying something a bit more brave. And I'm gonna keep my shoes to the classic proportion. 
This is the skirt is also the classic proportion, so as the top. So that is let us give it a try. I think Zara is really well. They did it in a really safe color, which is easy to wear for almost any skin tone. So oh, going out, yeah, I could do this with a shoe that is pink, a little bit of color, but it is barely there. I'm getting hot now, and now with the and now with the cropped blazer. Yeah, this is really safe, safe, like not super edgy, really feminine. I think this is still me. I quite like to be shorter on in the body. Probably I should keep this one because I really love this coat. It's just so me. It goes with everything, and I couldn't wear this even to my birthday. I think it's it's dressy enough. I don't feel like mini dresses at the moment, and something that's like too much colors. So I think for going out, it is uh, essential to have a couple of basics that you can mix and match with a nice top, with a blazer, and probably just like a nice pair of shoes. And and a bag that you love, something that for me, you know, it was be it'd be something that when I wear it, it, it inspires me, it lifts up my mood and I don't have to say that okay Zara sometimes is not giving me that edge. I did have a couple of Zara bags in the past but when I went out with them I was like mm, yeah I like it but I don't like love it as much maybe because you know that you have some other designer uh, bags there that you want to use so and I also like when it's like so nice to touch it, you just sit there and enjoy basically. So uh, the same outfits you could easily wear with your any the sandal any sandal that is neutral to your choice but I wanted to show you with the pink one just so you could see that it is not super edgy because it's kind of small it works I did mention that I went out the other time wearing the denim blazer and it was not exactly the same look but I want to show you that it could actually work Things that look good and make you feel good. Something with a bit of color and edge to the shoes. For me, it could be my purple Bottega shoes and uh, one of my favorite bags. So with the pink, maybe I would go for the black one. But yeah, you can't do it with any kind of uh, denim uh, jacket. I think when it has too much pockets in front, it is just looking a little bit more, you know, travelers like uh, casual. But um, if it's quite oversized, uh, but quite plain it's in its design, I think they're great for going out. So I did wear another item on the bottom. It was a pair of trousers, but the idea would be the same. And then as you arrive, you remove your jacket and you just have a top and uh, your bag and your jewelry and nice hair. I think this is really going to be enough for me. I don't really even do like bright lit anymore because it's not, it's not something that looks really amazing. And now some of the next items towards the bomb items. I did tell you I do like my uh, parachute pants out, although I didn't ex really expect that. So uh, yesterday I did find these. Uh, it is very similar. Uh, it is cut in a slightly different way. It's more, you know, roomy at the knee. And it did come with a top that is supposed to be from the same set. It was like that in the look, but uh, it was actually not exactly the same material, which is also cool. And I like this top because I think it would be quite flattering on me. So I'm gonna give this a try with the different accessories and I'm gonna add a black bag that is also from Winter Zara. I do, I'm sure they also have the same one in the current collection. The trousers were not available in my size, so this is a size medium. I think on their own, they should fit somewhere in the middle, not too high, not too low. I'm gonna order the uh, small. I don't think extra small is still available and I'm gonna alter them or I'll just keep these and I'll make a small alteration probably with a dot on the back. But for the time being, I'm just gonna clip it on the back because my idea is to break down this into two blocks so with a shorter top and a longer leg uh, this is already enough it is edgy it is looking really good so this is the oversized platform sandal in blue and an oversized uh, blazer 
uh, with a toad for the daytime could go to the supermarket like this. Yeah, I guess you get the idea. You could also use a denim skirt here, something really long or non-denim skirt in a similar shade, but it has to be pretty long to have the same effect. If you have it a little bit shorter, it's not going to be uh, quite the same. I probably could go out in exactly the same outfit, although it is a little bit unbalanced in terms of colors. But just to show you that it could work, I'll show it to you. To my taste, the top is probably a little bit casual for going out or doesn't give it that edge to the gray. Uh, but uh, the bag does. Another of my findings is that I did have this cropped shirt from the Frankie shop that I didn't yet get to wear because I didn't have items that would go with it. And I think it goes really nicely in here. It was just waiting for its perfect trousers. So I'm gonna use purple slides too because I like purple. You remember that? And it's kind of this edgy color. Do you know that my wedding shoes were purple? Let me know if you want to know more about like wedding engagement dressing. So yeah, you can even leave it open. You can button it up. The idea is to keep the stop just so you don't want to show up too much of the belly area as everything is kind of like edgy squared there's even the by the shoulders here but as i said my shoulders are quite broad i'm not gonna need that so i'm gonna use a rounded back to just soften up everything this is so cool oh my god this is so me yeah i'm happy like i'm always so happy when i find something that really works for me because uh you might think that it's easy because you know like you look good uh, everything suits you well but i think it's not the case i think i make outfits work because i'm really selective uh, on when i should do my shopping i don't wear all colors all materials and all cuts but when i do know something that works for me i actually remember it and i have a little journal where i would like measure a garment like this length of the shirt would be best like the length of the trouser and you know some visual ideas of combinations that do work and uh, you can do that too oh, i'm really happy this is so cool it's kind of like bombish as well let me show you with the top that comes with the with the set this is how it does look together with the top it is so cool so simple i remember when i was much younger i would wear things like this it works as it cuts your shoulder and uh, i'm a bit broader here and the, the trousers they do give you a little bit of volume here so if your figure uh just you know, with a broader shoulder this consider this option and this ties on the back ensuring the perfect fit so cute with the purple shoes like these or with the ones that I already have. So, and uh, for the bag, yeah, definitely I'll use something deeper or darker. I could use a softer bag, but I think I don't like the way it looks all together. Well, it could work. Maybe I do need to get a Bottega <laughs> mini Jody in black where I would just use it and with an outfit like this. Yeah, and now to show you that you can also wear it casually or without wearing a heel. Uh, with the shoes like this, you can definitely wear them out if you don't want to wear a heel. If you see um, the color, if you analyze it, it, it's deeper pink that is closer to the blacks and the grays, not so much with the whites. For this instance, it would work. Keeps unclipping the back, I'm sorry. Yeah, something like this. Because I yeah, I do have an orange sandal, but I find it it will be a little bit boring with that. Or maybe if I get a plain slide in like black, but really elegant. Could also could work. I actually forgot I uh, think with this bag it would be perfect because it's slightly softer, it's not as that edgy Bottega, especially when you put something inside, but it has the feminine elegance. So I think it would be this one to go perfectly uh, with an outfit like this. This is the roll, uh, it's called the lunch bag. They used to come in different colors and leathers and there was one a bit bigger size. I don't think they make it, but if you check the roll, I think they have a few bags this season that are similar. Uh, I just love it too much, I don't want to. <laughs> 
you know, just sell it and uh, get a new one uh, because I think this really works for me. And the bombest bomb outfit item is ooh, this. It is a trouser with the front panel of fabric that makes it into a skirt. And it's the color that is like, I think men's chinos come in this color. So it's really universal, slightly gray, light gray. And I think, I really tried it. It looks so cool uh, with even like the simplest items. So I'm gonna try it like this. And I'm also gonna try it later uh, with a tank top. Okay, so it zips up as a simple trouser, closes up here, has some belt loops. How cool is that? And I guess even if you're sitting, it's not gonna wrinkle in the front bit, just slightly on the back, which is not a big problem. So cool. So this works even more in making me a bit wider to the bottom and create this beautiful hourglass shape uh, while breaking the shoulder a bit in this area. And for the outfit like this, I think there's already so much going on with the combination of colors. I would add uh, this shoe, which acts a bit like a nude but it's a little bit more edgy it's kind of like i'm there but i am also have a little bit of color and i am shiny which is a, such a good idea sorry elegant you want you don't want to make it a bit more edgy or overscale in this outfit because you already have an edgy trouser skirt and same for the bag, I'm going to use my The Roll clutch just so it is feminine and nice. I can't go way to go out with this. Such a good summer item. With this knitted tank top, it's not even like more casual, but it's less edgy for going out when you can use the same idea. This color is really good at highlighting your features. And if you would go for the black, sometimes it would dark, darken up some of your like face areas, which is not something that you want to do. And I'm adding here as an accent my uh, Neo Bottega sardine bag. And to wear it in the daytime, let's try it again with a slide that is slightly overscale, an oversized blazer and a tote. Uh, this kind of works, although I'm not sure if I would choose to go out like this, but I want to give you ideas on what to try in this new season. Uh, let me know, guys, if you do like the shoes and which shoes you think are better to keep. Please leave me a comment below because I'm not sure I'm so lost at the purple or beige. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!